So check, man. I'm watching this thing on Dave Chappelle. And what happened on Dave Chappelle is that he spoke about the LGBT. You know what I mean? And he's I saw that. Especially. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good thing. I thought it was great. I think it was funny. It was hilarious. I think it was, you know, pushing the limits, starting the conversation, you know, moving things forward, right? And, um, you know, much a lot of people had some backlash behind it, which, of course, that's, you know, that's the world we live in now, of course. You know, everybody got something to say about something. And uh, I just kept surfing, right? I didn't have really much to say about the shit. I didn't think he was wrong. I think he's perfectly fine in what he does. He's an awesome comedian. The nigga's great. You get what I mean? Right. So I end up surfing the internet, right? As I'm surfing, I come up on the video uh trans people, right? So Flaming Monroe was the big person that they wanted to see. Um, it's a guy, he's about 55 years old, but he's, you know, a trans. And they, you know, he has some great words to say about it. Though. He didn't say, uh, she didn't say anything wrong. She said all the great stuff. But I went out of there. I was like, okay, I'm done with that, right? And then I came upon the video of female students fighting back against the woke movement and woke mob pushing a transgender competitors. You know about this? Yep. So, just like you and myself, you know, we have daughters. And what? And we want our daughters to compete with women, right? Right. I mean, I don't mind them competing with guys, but we, as men, we know that that's biologically not you know what I mean? <laughs> it's biologically not possible. You get what I mean? So, you know, th those are the things. Those are the things that I'm looking at that I'm like, I don't think this is right to kind of force. Um, like if you, if you, um, if you was born a guy, and you now identify as a woman, totally fine. But I shouldn't want you, I don't want you competing in football games, basketball games, soccer games against my daughter or my wife or whatever. I mean, I get it, play, play, neighborhood play. That's different. Uh, so so we're you talking, mean, so we're you talking like if a boy turns into a girl competing against a girl team. Right. Okay. Right. That's what I'm talking about. I want, I mean, I get it, play in the park type stuff. I get that type of games, you know what I mean? Neighborhood games, I get that. That's not a, you know, big ordeal. But when we're talking about competing in high school sports and, you know, college sports and Olympians and all this shit, you know what I mean? Like, you telling me that it's okay for a dude. So I all, all I got to do is dress up as Miss Doubtfire and I could go in and annihilate all the all the ranking i can get all the championships i can get i'm physically stronger like biologically stronger you know what i mean like right. you know a, a man's seven a man's strength is 17 times stronger than a woman so what, a man's strength his strength just to grab some shit is 17 times stronger than a woman that means that means when we build shit, when we do shit, it's built way much sturdier than a woman would build something. Nobody's saying women can't build anything. You know what I mean? Right. Yes, women can build beautiful things, and it could last for you. We're just talking what is just the physicalities of me as a man do. My hands build shit. You get what I mean? We build things. We build civilization. You know what I mean? We fuck, we have babies, and we build civilization. You nurture, you take care, and you help the community. That's the whole part of this ecosystem that we're talking here. You get what I mean? Yeah. So th that's that's what I'm kind of saying here. In this video, you would kind you would see that you you're going to see the women talk about that. But what you're going to see is the doctors, nigga. The doctors come out and be like, "This ain't right." Now these doctors are trans doctors. You get what I mean? Yeah. 
they transgender doctors. And I don't know if you know about the pills, right? How they're giving young kids pills to, um, you know, young kids who identify as boy or girl, they're giving pills to enhance that. And then they go through a surgery. No, nah, I haven't heard about that. Oh, yeah, bro. This is a real thing. Like, it's an actual real thing. Right? So, oh. hormones. Are you talking about the hormones? Yeah, the hormone shit. Right, right, right. Right. So, check. Check this out. Walt, you there? Two top transgender doctors are sounding the alarm and putting the well-being of children ahead of the left's radical agenda. In a bombshell interview, the medical experts say we've gone too far when it comes to the use of puberty blockers and gender procedures in young kids. But the establishment and the media won't listen to them. Why? Because anyone who questions whether or not a nine-year-old is too young to undergo reassignment surgery or dares object to a biological male competing in women's sports becomes a public enemy of the woke mob. No one knows. males and it was just really demoralizing to know that all of my hard work and all the other female athletes hard work wasn't paying off and we were really just racing for second and third place and we weren't going to get the spots that we truly deserve to get mm -hmm. selena tell me about your experience i was forced to compete against biological males throughout all four years of high school and i lost out on countless opportunities primarily the opportunity to qualify for the regional new england championships in the 55 meter dash and if they weren't there i would have qualified and i've had to compete against these athletes over a dozen times and every single time i lost without fail mm -hmm. christiana it seems to me like this is a situation where uh we are forced to, to get involved in uh litigation and in, and in fights that you never really want to as a distraction during your high school years and, and the like uh what are the legal aspects of these fights as you see them playing out across the country well, girls like Selena and Alana deserve to compete on a level playing field and have the same quality of opportunities that their brothers have. But Ben, as you and I both know, this issue is so much bigger than just sports. Radical activists, including those in the Biden administration, are threatening those who stand up for basic facts about biology and the fact that humans are either male or female. And, you know, we see this ideology play out with real human costs. You know, women are being forced and trapped in prison cells with violent male criminals. We see parents who are either pushed out of the conversation entirely or are intimidated into putting their children on hormones or undergoing life-altering surgeries. Even women are broadly being dehumanized by being referred to as, as chest feeders or birthing people. And the list just goes on and on. So that's why Alliance Defending Freedom and a broad coalition are standing up for basic truth and basic biology and to protect women and girls like Selena and Alana. Al Alana, tell me a little bit, and I'll ask this of you as well, Selena. It, what was the reaction among your friends, among your parents, among people you talked to when you tried to talk to them about the challenge of going through what seemed to be such an unfair experience? I want to pause it right there before she responds. Um, what is what is your take on this so far? Shit is crazy, and it's a touchy situation. It's a touchy uh, conversation. So you have to you have to check carefully on on your opinions and everything that you that you feel about this. Um, with that being said. Um, I agree. I agree with both sides. Um, I don't, I don't think it's fair for a transgender to compete against in women's or men for that, uh, that fact competition. So, um, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's right. Honestly, so just to be blunt. I think uh, if you're a girl, you you compete in women or girls uh, league, and if you're a boy, you compete in boys leagues, and that's just what it is. Unless it's just universal. Hmm. If it's a boy okay. and a girl league, then 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 by all means. But if it's if it's a, if if it's a woman league, or if it's a woman uh, 
competition. I don't believe that. Uh, I, I just don't think a transgender should be competing against it. Fact, just point blank. Fact. You want to dress up like a girl, and you want to be a boy, born a boy, and you want to dress up like a girl. Go be that on the on the boys' team. <laughs> That's facts. I mean, you know, yeah. you're laughing. You want to wear make you want to wear makeup and play football? Wear makeup and play football. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, but you're not, hey, about, to be, you're not about to be a 16 year old boy playing against you know my 16 year old daughter. Straight up in a, in a woman's league, and you, because you want to be identified as a girl, that's fine. I'll, I'll call you a girl all day. A lot of people, a lot of people won't do that. A lot of people will won't uh, <clears throat> won't play to that fact. But you know, I. You want to be called a girl? I'm gonna call you a girl. You want to be called an elephant? I'm gonna call you an elephant, straight up. That's just what it is. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to competing or it comes down to certain things such as such as this touchy situation, then I'm, I'm not for it. Okay. Well, um, the situation at hand is um, male competing in female competitions, uh, high school girls are complaining that they're not able to reach you know first place because they got the males competing with them one chick just exposed the fact that she was um doing competing for like what four she did what four years competing against dudes you know what i mean so that really made her feel bad she said most of the girls was like they knew they weren't gonna get first place so they were just aiming for second and third <laughs> that's crazy you know what wow. I mean? that's crazy you know um and now these trans do doctors are coming out saying they're trying to stop the these pills going out and going to young kids and going to you know what i mean to why though kids. i mean if if if, if they want to change their their genetic makeup then that's their prerogative I get that. I get that. But I kind of trip the fact that there's it's like it's like when it's like me being a drummer and trying to and yes, there might be other kids identify as a drummer, but their parents want to do things to enhance that. So they want to put them in intense competitions. They want to put them with intense, you know what I mean? Like music, that music, music in general. Wait, 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 some of these kids that I would see that quote unquote want to play drums, nine percent. Well, I would say almost ninety nine percent of them don't end up being drummers. They are in something else. You get what I mean? Right. They, right. Uh, generally, unless you that kid is like you could tell it's a passion. Like when I came out the womb, I was playing drums literally. Like. From the time I was two until now, I'm, I'm you know what I mean I'm 34, I'm still playing drums. You get what I mean? So that's just like when I hear people like, oh, I identify as a woman, but I've done this when I was like four years old, two years old. I already identified as that. I can't hate them. You know what I mean? I don't want you. I'm a drummer. I don't identify as a fucking bass player. I don't identify as a keyboard player. You get what I mean? I identify as a drummer. But most people are might say, "Oh, you know, you're just a musician." No, you're a musician. You know what I mean? I, I will say that too. Right, right. But because you do multiple, you do multiple things. Right, but if you ask Walter, Walter would say, "Yeah, I'm a musician, but I'm a keyboardist." That's the difference. You get what I mean? I play keys. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, those are. Yeah, I'm, that's true. So, <laughs> so well, was, was, was that like you know like, I'm a, like I'm so, be, so be frank with it's you. hard to compare. That's hard to compare to music because when it comes down to it, you like it's like saying, you know, I, I'm bisexual, but I just I suck dick. You know what I mean? Or I just eat pussy. <laughs> like you, you can't. That's that's no, just no, 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 it's no, two no. Films. no, no. It's two films. Did you identify as that when you were younger? Did you I did you grow throughout life doing that? You get what I mean? <laughs> grew up as a, as a drummer mainly that's what i'm saying just like a motherfucker who grew up seeing himself as a female but you but, but you don't I saw myself as a drummer but do you identify yourself as a, a, a drummer or a musician a drummer i just said that a drummer 
But most people be, wait. Well, most you know, if you, if you look at it that way, wait, no, wait, no, no. If wait, you wait, wait, that wait. Way, let me let hold just, one second, one second. Uh, one second. I'm gonna let you go, Walt. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. Look, I gotta correct this. Check this out. I can see how people would identify me as a musician because I produce music, I write music, I um, come up with different rhythms on other type of music. I get that part. But to sum it down, that's stuff I accumulated. You get what I mean? I accumulated all those things. You know what I mean? Just like a person whom I identify as, as the opposite sex, but they accumulated all of these extra things that they may follow in. You get what I mean? Inside of that, like Flaming Monroe, she says, Give me I an want, example. Okay, Flaming Monroe, black dude, right? Black woman, but black dude, born as a black man, identified as a as a woman when he was, you know, what I mean, he always knew, right? He has three lanes he's battling: the, the LGBT, all in that shit, that community, the black community, right? And being a trans. That's stuff that he accumulated later, but he first identified as a woman. You get what I mean? He found out that he liked all these other extra shit. You know what I mean? Throughout the process, just like a female. You know what I mean? She finds out other shit that she may like. One minute she liked princes and and motherfuckers riding on chariots at Disney, but now she likes gangsters and shit. You know what I mean? She, throughout time, it accumulates other shit that you may fall into or identify with you know what i mean but go ahead go ahead go ahead i ain't trying to like you know what i mean go ahead i just i just think that's very you got that's touchy because of the simple fact that when you when you talk about you talk about a skill set versus a gender or sexuality something that you you you're particularly born with or you're particularly born different uh some people are born uh to have a skill of being drummers but but nevertheless, you can become a drummer if you practice hard enough. You know what I'm saying? It's not something a lot of people that are transgender or people that are, are gay or things of that nature generally identify themselves as what they felt like from birth. So that's that's a little different. You gotta be careful. Hey, hey, Jay, you, you know what you basically just said? <laughs> you basically just said. Like trying to put those in comparison is basically saying a person that consider themselves a transgender, you know, <clears throat> just like a person that would consider himself a drummer instead of a musician, a transgender is a human. A musician is the whole. You know what I'm saying? But what does he identify as? This is a drummer. I'm a keyboardist. Or I'm, a I'm musician a is a choice you know? though. No. <clears throat> So it's transgender. No, it's it is a choice. Oh, it's a choice. A lot of people would disagree. Do you know how many? You. You know how many you know, well, I have a few gay friends, so I'm pretty sure I know. But I know because these, I, I these things too. that they say. Listen, these things that they say. You have you have a lot of you, you have some gay men that would consider themselves female, but would not change themselves and become a transgender. They would stay with their parents and just be gay then they're not transgender like of course they're not going to be transgender so so that means being transgender is a choice no most they everybody that, that, to that's a transgender I, I, I don't agree with that i don't agree with that because i don't i don't know one person that is was like oh i i was born this way and i feel this way since birth or since I was as far as I can remember, and doesn't want to be that. For I, I just don't. The I, I just I don't. I don't see anybody that's 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 doing that. I haven't heard of like, anybody that's like I'm. I'm gay. Like somebody saying I'm gay at birth, and not being gay, being uh, as they're as they're see, being older see, because see. they they're they're mm -hmm. choosing not to. What you said, they choose not to, right? It's yeah, a I don't know anybody that's doing Transgender that. is a choice. Transgender is also a choice. Was they forced to be, to make themselves a woman, or did they choose to say, "Hey, this is how I am, so I want to become a woman"? 
I want my appearance to be a woman. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just it ain't just because they like I would say for some, for some transgender they chose yeah. to let's, be let's, let's, the let's opposite take, sex because how they feel. They still take, they still let's feel take an example. They, even though they feel like a woman, they was a, they was born, they was like, Hey, look, I was born we have girl, a cousin. I feel like this since birth. We have a cousin. They still have they still right? make a choice to change their appearance. We have a cousin. Now, I would agree with you on, on about 50% of that. We have a cousin that chooses to dress transgender sometimes. Chooses. Now, do I believe that he believes that he is a girl? I think that he chooses to be a girl sometimes. Ooh. Is he is he gay? For sure. He's definitely like, gay. Like, look. I didn't have no rebuttal to what you were saying. I was just basically on. I was just speaking. Choice no, but this is good though. This is good. I have no choice. No, 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 no. This is good though. You need. We need the dialogue uh, my, on both ends. My, you my, what my I mean? internet is messing up right now. But we need the dialogue. My internet is tripping. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay. But don't. I mean, like this, that's the problem. The point is, we need the dialogue. You get what I mean? We need yeah. the dialogue to talk about these things on the shocking value factor because this is what the gas mask tribe is really about. Filtering out the bullshit. And us seeing it as men who have daughters and us looking at the world for really what it is, a lot of people may not take part in this because they might feel, oh, they don't think that males should be accepted into the female um, realm as I far mean, as sports. Yeah. Fuck no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. I don't, I don't agree with no. that. I, I don't believe they should. I don't th and honestly, I don't think a woman should come over to male football and play. She would get hurt. But you got a coach now. There's a female coach. I think she's an assistant. You know what I mean? So she's not on the field. Right. There's different levels. Hold there's on, there's different brother, levels. I'm about to jump out and jump back in. There's different levels. Right, right, right. Go ahead. So, you know what I mean? I, I definitely, I definitely understand understand that whole factor you know what i mean i definitely understand when us choosing this you know what i mean like we understand we understand biology right right that's what it looks like right other people might say fuck biology fuck what god says we don't go through that we feel that we should live on how we identify our fucking selves right right, right. cool like you said earlier cool but you're not going to be 16 battling against my daughter, who is 16, in a fucking basketball or right, or you know wrestling I mean? match or football, wrestling or match, or any of those things. You're not going to do that. That's not going to happen. Right. But right. people say that's wrong. That's wrong. Apologies. For you that. Internet was messing up. I had to jump out and jump back in. Are you good? But that's how people going to view it. You get what I mean? The masses is going to view it that way. Just because you said it like this. Like Walter said it earlier. Musician is the whole. It's like where we fall. We just so happen to just fall into this world of musician. Right? right. We just fall in. But if you ask any fucking musician, if you ask any fucking musician, nine times out of ten, they're going to tell you what they exactly are. You know what I mean? Just like I, I I don't know. I'm not in that world, but I would oppose in the gay community that you would tell one of them and they would tell you, oh, I'm pansexual or I'm asexual or I'm a lesbian. You know what I mean? They'll I let you know what they identify with, but they just fall into this world of this community. Okay, so so what is the real question here? Are we just questioning should should transgenders be allowed to sift through uh different genders of sports no what we're looking at is what we're looking at here is the fact that we have a a multitude of females right no color mm -hmm. gender i mean no color race at all they all together black white chinese doesn't fucking matter we're talking about a female culture of females who have been raised literally growing right now in the masses who are fighting against this whole transgender world coming over into or bridging the opposite biological 
into the fucking sports it world. It shouldn't be bridge. It but shouldn't be bridge. You know what? I'm going to say this, bro. I will fight with them. Because it's not what? fair. What'd you say? I will, fight, I will fight with them. I will fight against it as well. I will I will go out there with them with them to fight against it because it's not fair. There's nothing fair about having I don't care if he is a transgender. He's still a boy. There's nothing right. fair about a boy playing against these little girls. Well, what if he had a sex change? Doesn't matter. Still There's a boy. nothing <laughs> fair. Still a boy. <laughs> but this little boy, they'll play against your DNA, girls. your DNA makeup is what is of a Y chromosome. Period. Point blank. You can't change your DNA. You can't, you can't do that. Yeah, exactly. You, you can't change that at all. That's well, you your, are, chromosomes, uh, your chromosomes will always be the same. I don't care. I don't care what you do with your external parts of your body and whatever you do with that. That's one thing. But you cannot change your your your, your DNA, and your DNA will come out to say that you are a boy. Period. Point blank. Your genetic makeup so, will be a boy. And family supported what I was doing, and they thought it was great that I was fighting for in sports and ensuring that we weren't becoming sidelined in our own sport. The only backlash I really got was on social media from people that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Selena, was it the same experience for you? I had a very similar experience as Alana. I've gotten nothing but love and support from my friends and family. My parents have been fighting this alongside with me. And I also have only really gotten hate from social media, but I just go with love and support. Mm -hmm. Now, as you see, I will fight with them. I support them. As you see, yeah, as, you, as you see, the only scrutiny they've gotten was from social media. Mm -hmm. People went against them. The Family and friends love them. They support them 100%. But the scrutiny has came from this shit, social media. So if we look at that, you see, you, you got to break down the fucking... You know, you got to break it down. You know, you got to filter out the bullshit. Yeah. Obviously, the people that's close to you, love you the most, cares about you, will be at your funeral. Great. Awesome. But you're not affecting me and affecting what's going on out there. That's the problem that I don't think people are seeing here. Cool. Family, friends, like, y'all go rock with me. Cool. Period. Yeah, y'all go let me know what's wrong. Blase, blase. But y'all not seeing what I have to see outside. You get what I mean? When I'm like, bro, this shit is fucking me up. Why? Because I'm in a different place in life where I have to maneuver shit, and I can't because of certain people or certain this, <clears throat> certain that, or because people want to change some shit. But y'all go rock with me whatever I fucking say. Whatever I rock with, right? That's right. typically how it goes. When you're closer to the person that you know, or you build a relationship solid with someone that you know very dearly. But they're not... They're not... They're not bringing a solution to the issue. Why? Because social media doesn't feel like your fucking family. And they don't care about shit that you fucking want to do in your life. They want to tell you how they fucking feel. And they feel that you fighting against the transgender who is trying to compete and have their life and live great. And they just want to be them. They just want to know. What it says is that motherfucker is a coward, right? That motherfucker's a coward to want to come over here and compete with the female market, but he can't compete in the dude market. That's a fucking coward. Like, you really, like, show me some shit if you could be a transgender, right? Play football, basketball, you got championships. That's raining on shit. I wouldn't necessarily go as far as calling him a coward. No, bro, come on, what you fuck me say? That's a fucking coward. I don't give a fuck. I'll fight him all day. Check this out, bro. That's a fucking but, but, that's a but fucking coward. No, you're copping out. No, you're copping out. That's a fucking coward. We out. already know. We already know, nigga. As as dudes, if you're willing to go over here and not deal with the scrutiny, but you go go over here and come on, bro. Come yeah, on. Man. Hey, you I, know I, what? what you I, 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 I will partially agree with you. I agree with you. Say partially agree. You know that, like. I was like, some want to go over there because they know they already know they're gonna dominate, so they they want to go to the. That's what I'm talking about. League. I'm but, talking but about the but no, no, I wouldn't say all, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say all transgender. There is some transgenders believe that does believe that's where they're that's where they belong and that their strength are equal. You have some that does believe that, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, but <clears throat> there is some of, like uh, that's um just like what you were saying. There, there are actually some that know that oh, I can dominate, so now I'm, I'm gonna go over here. Like that, it really is something like that. So I, I can go, I can go partially with you. Just, just can't do a full agreement. <laughs> Touchy, you gotta be careful. True, you, you gotta do. be careful. But that's why I put some nature of social media the internationalized nature of it basically allows just about anybody in the world to take pot shots at you whether they know you or not whether they're going to your school or part of your community or not that that's really what kind of drives this discussion now as opposed to letting places decide like parents and students decide for themselves how my fucking point thank you mr white man thank you things like this ought to be covered I think that social media is a big factor in this because people get a boost of confidence by hiding behind a phone screen. But it's just a really unfortunate situation because it should be accepted that women's sports need to be kept as just women's sports. Mm -hmm. uh, Alana, in terms Thanks. of your own experience, this has to be something that's discouraging. But do you, have you taken some silver lining out of the fact that you've gotten that level of support that you mentioned from your friends and family? Yeah, it makes me feel really proud that my story has made it so far and that hopefully it'll help more female athletes to stand up so that change can be made quicker and so that women's sports can stay women's sports mm -hmm. and we can continue to um, compete on a level playing field. You know, it really seems to me like this is a, an issue that invades our communities and, and creates such a, a, a hard questions for, for parents and for communities to face in ways that are really unfair to all of the girls who are involved. And I want to thank you both for being brave enough to stand up and, and to push back against what is an agenda that obviously has enormous backing uh, from very powerful people, but really doesn't represent what the communities or parents or even the, stu the, the female students involved really want for. So, so as we see, I wasn't too far fucking off, even though I was going very in depth, but I wasn't too far fucking off. Obviously, people don't have no strings attached to how they come at people. My whole point was to just say that you you obviously looks like a coward to just, if you're going to compete and you have a very competing heart, compete in where you know you're going to win at. Despite of what you chose, despite of sex change or whatever, you was born this, so you have that much masculinity over the opposite or or the opposing opponent. You get what I mean? So mm -hmm. do that then. Stay in stay in track and field and and smash track and field. As a transgender, as a transgender, as, as, that's what I'm talking. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But for you to take that and go over here, to me, you look like a coward. I can give a fuck if you're transgender, lesbian, doesn't fucking matter. Oh, but what would you say about a woman going over to the men's and competing? That's <clears throat> Come on, man. We saw what happened with that. We hey, saw look, what happened with that. Kill all look, 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 look. We saw a woman go over to the men's part, like to the men's department. I would just put in that form, right? And they made her as, uh, uh, an assistant coach. The one gonna put out on that field, mm -hmm. and you probably would not see a woman out on that field unless she's a kicker. That's it because kickers don't get hit. Well, a lot. I, 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 will, I will say, in high school, when I, I went, you know, saying I started at Compton High. At Compton High, we did have a female on our team, and she was a beast. I'm gonna let you know she did. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's a very small percentage of females that actually got what, was yeah, she high rocking, school football. Was she rocking niggas? Yeah, she was. Put niggas on their back. Put niggas on their back. Yeah, we had we had we had a female. We had a female on the football team, I, I and that's just because name, but man. girl girl football wasn't established, hasn't it been established in high school. It, it wasn't it. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, we're talking like 95, 96 and all that. Right. So it wasn't really because you're old as fuck. You know. <laughs> 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 Hey, wait a minute, God damn you, you, right, you right there with me on the age. Shit. I'm talking about the 2000s, nigga. <laughs> you know, but I, I mean, for me, 
for me, for me, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see much of it. I, I, I've, of course, I saw the women do what they did, and you know what I mean. I, I mean, even though you might have had a woman that played soccer or whatever, it wasn't aggressive, such an aggressive, you know what I mean. I've seen women basketball has been in forever for me. So I saw, I mean, I grew up with that. So that wasn't like anything crazy for me. You know what I mean? I just, I would see the females come up and play the dudes, right? In basketball, but it was like a scrimmage to get better. Right. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing like, oh, we're going to really compete at this shit. It was more like we're getting better because men are stronger and more, thir- and more, ag- you know what I mean? Right. By a woman training against the dude, it makes her more, th- you know what I mean? And having that competing, you just always battling into someone that's just more intense than you. So that's no problem with that. No problem with that. I don't shit. If a, if a motherfucker want to go over and learn how to do hair and do be, you know be a beautician, nothing wrong with that. Right. That's that's jobs versus versus sports. Right. But with, right. And I'm going. I'm 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 just leaving it in in a form of like. Well, you're saying that m- women can't do what men can do and men right. can't do what women. I'm not saying that. That's right. not the whole. I'm yeah. saying a dude. I'm just judging this from a dude perspective. From a dude perspective, when no matter if you're a transgender or not, you're still a dude in our eyes. You get what I mean? Fact. So yeah, you, have that- no, you, you have no reason being in any kind of female anything. Like... No, just competition when it comes down to competition. When it comes down to competition, you should like competition. Competition should be shacking motherfucker. Ah bitch. Competition should be scaled on the on 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 the basis of of the of of, of a fair, of a fair ah, what'd you say? What she dug it on him, and she, she dug it on him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ah, that's why I said, like, Joanna Man, even though Joanna Man was hey, very real, shit right there. It, it was example. very fucking Perfect like funny. Fucking example, everybody like loved it, they thought it was funny. They but it was it unfair, it was unfair. unfair. It was, it was unfair. Very unfair on the whole <laughs> period. Okay, cool. Now, what you go as far as calling him a coward? Uh, he wanted his job and he couldn't. He couldn't play unless he got on the team, right? That was the situation with him. It wasn't like he didn't want to go back and play with the man. He would have. That wasn't his deal. It was. They was kicking him out. I think that was the situation or something like that. They was kicking yeah. him out. He wasn't able to come back yeah. to the league, but he wanted to play so bad, and he got like, oh, shit. And then he dressed up as a female and got accepted in because it was just that great. You know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> so I think that's different. He I'm, just wanted to play. That's so different. Right, he, he just wanted, wanted to play. play. So, trans- and they so, let trans- let me ask a question. So, trans- so transgender boys that are soft, We'll say that it's soft, right? Always been soft, never been masculine, okay. and all that. And they, 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 they feel like they want to go play with the girls, which we don't agree with. Still, you will call him a coward. Run you know track. You know, you know, you know what we call Run him. Track. Little, you know what we like, call him. The boy's going to play with the... He was like, man, we are taking him back over here. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. He, they, 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 <laughs> tell him, tell him, he you know what I'm saying? Track. He, he said run track. You're not, playing, you, you're not playing no other sports with... with Pick you, a different you know sport, know motherfucker. Not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is not your sport. Yeah, yeah, it's run not track. cutting it over here. Go <laughs> 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 oh, track, go fishing. You know what I'm oh, Something. Something. Yeah. Hey, is a sport. Fishing is a sport. No ass is stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dude. <laughs> Look, just choose another sport. Okay, so I play football. Let me well, give you a playing football. You might want to choose something else. With okay, girls. so let me give you a real a real story, right? I was dating. My daughter played football, bro. What if she wants to? You still what, a boy. What? If a boy rocked the what shit out of my daughter, you know what I'm saying, like in a football game, I'm fucking I'm him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> you hit my daughter like that. You get mocked, nigga. You six, you sixteen. My daughter sixteen. Uh, you hit her like you Ray Lewis. I think I'm about to beat your sixteen year old ass. <laughs> Fuck that. No, allowed. They just shouldn't be allowed in the sport. That's what they I'm shouldn't saying. be allowed. That's that's the whole point. <laughs> they should not be allowed. My, my daughter is very fragile. I don't I don't need this. <laughs> Tell you, I will I will really whoop his ass. He's still a boy. I knew where that strength came from. Nah, he might look like a girl, but he got man strength. I'm gonna tear your ass up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so people. Hey, thank I'm not you being careful with what I say. Shit. <laughs> Uh-huh. But gotta somebody gotta say it. I'm gonna let <laughs> so this is this is pretty much like the the premise of it all, people. You know what I mean? It's it's these are all our uncensored opinions, you know what I mean? It has nothing to do with a person's views on their life. This is just our views on our lives, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, y'all saw that we did not agree all and they saw things different than I saw things, and you know what I mean. What even told you, motherfucker? I don't agree with your ass all of them. I agree with you partial, not everything, because that was some crazy shit. And all I was just doing, just calling the motherfucker a coward if he chose to go play in the fucking female league because it was an easier competition. In some senses, yeah. Some no yeah. some sense. Like no, said, because it's only because hey, hey, it, no, 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 be no, because look, no, it's only ain't some, no it's it's only no. some transgender. It's not all. No, we're not because, talking. Because it's only some. So we're not talking. Some, yeah, he got it. We're not talking. They're right. We're Bro, not. Just, we're not talking. We're not talking all of them, right? We're not talking all transgender. No, we're not talking all of them. But what I'm talking about in sports, particularly in sports. If you says already, I'm already identified as a woman, and and you, you, the girls. And you want to go play with the girls because there's an easier competition, then you're wrong. You're a coward. If you say that, yes. If you say that, because it's easier competition, absolutely. I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. So we're just speaking on those transgenders, pretty much. Oh. Because they're the ones that, that when they know they got an advantage, they're going to try to take that advantage. Oh, I, 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 I think they're just being a little – I think they're pushing the, the envelope too far when they, when, when transgenders do that. Because when it, when it comes down to it, it's just you're, you're, you're taking everything that embodies a human being and trying to make it into something different. Mm-hmm. And, and that's just – it. it at the end of the day, like I said, your chromosomes are still going to be your chromosomes. You're still going to be a guy. You still a woman born a woman. Still going to be a woman, no matter how tough or buff or strong <laughs> a, a woman gets, or how soft a dude gets. It, it, you still you still going to be a boy, or you still going to be a girl. And at the end of the day, you should play and stay in your lane and play. And and when it comes to competition. Compete against the ones that that are <laughs> your fair competitors. I think they're being unfair. Bro. I can't. Your mic yeah. is mute. No, no, it is. It, that, that's that's very unfair, bro. It's very unfair, like to the fullest. Because I, I don't think it should be any boys competing against girls, and not in a sport that's a competition. No, not like, in sports. It, it, <clears throat> no, you want to you you know, you, you pick, pick a skill games set like firefighter or games at home or something. That's, officer. that's one thing. It's whatever. But you try to, you do an actual co- competition sport for an actual team, uh, it's, it's not fair. Yeah, it's not. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> hell, I'm going to kill the whole thing. Hey, look, I might get canceled for this, but hell, I might get love for this. This is such a big issue. Well, they just just started on their own league. Trans only transgenders. Hey, right. that come on, man. What you, man? What oh, you use the old thinking cap? <laughs> you use. I'm just saying. Start your own damn league. Yeah, man. Only transgenders. 
You know what I mean? Females can't play in the transgender league. Males can't play in the transgender league. Boom. We, it's all ended right there. See? They got their own league. There you go. That's, see, that's, what, that's, see, hey, I'm telling you, that's, that fix the whole problem. What make a transgender league? Yep. Well, only transgenders can play. I think that's smart. Now, if you're a soft ass transgender and you get rocked by by a manly ass transgender, I think hey, that is a smart ass. You know what I'm saying? You'll get the point. You know, <laughs> if they if they wanted to be fair, if they wanted to be fair. <laughs> If they want to filter off that book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if they wanted hey, to be God. fair, if they wanted to be fair, the problem is there's it, it it's gonna take time for that to happen. Yeah, it, it will, but on an adult scale, maybe maybe not as long as it would in high school or, or, or middle school or something like that, but uh you know what I mean, but yeah, yeah I yeah. It will. Hey, hey, keep that hey. shit, keep that shit where it is. I don't, <laughs> I don't see me watching no, watch, I don't see me don't watching watch no NBA TV, TV uh, uh, trans trans NBA TV or anything like that. You know what I mean? There's no NFL trans. <laughs> I don't, I don't see myself watching that. <laughs> Names and shit. I'm like, how would they name this motherfucker? <laughs> NBA trends. It's not gonna be that blunt. NBA trends. It's, it's gonna, gonna be that blunt. Yeah. No, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like some like like thought of like <laughs> trans basketball. No, it's gonna be the TFL. Yeah, 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 yeah. That it is. Trans, transgender football team, football league. Yeah, TFL. It's an acronym. The TBA. The TBA. The the TBA. TBA. <laughs> <laughs> to be announced. <laughs> oh, come on, we're going oh, to hell. Yeah. Oh yeah, so we're going to heaven hell. That's what, exactly where we go to heaven's hell. Yeah, yeah, man. No worry, that's speaking the truth. Shit. <laughs> God up there cracking up too. God like it. God don't even have an answer. He's like, I don't know. Y'all figure that shit out. <laughs> yeah, I did what I had to do. Yeah, I made it. I made the relation. Y'all want to change the shit. If this shit don't end up you gotta alter to... everything. Nigga, <laughs> if this shit don't turn out to be like the number one podcast TV show on the planet, I don't know what. <laughs> because it's only facts. Like, if you niggas was lying, I would be like, no, you cap it. No, you cap it. I mean, I'll tell you, y'all niggas is not capping the whole 27 seconds. Right? Right. I'm not going to cap. Look, I think the understanding will come if they play football, right? Here we they have go. their own league in football, the TFL. Hey, TFL be cracking. You know hey, and, and they'll have Look, supporters. The they have sponsors. Look, get the softest motherfucker. <laughs> put him, put him as a running back. Get the manliest motherfucker. That motherfucker be the put one. him as a linebacker. The water girl. Let him rock that shit. That He's shit gonna be the kicker. Back. The that, soft. No, no, fuck that. The, 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 the fuck all be, that. No, no, fuck all that. He's be gonna the water be the girl. running back. <laughs> He's gonna be the running back. And then let and, and let that that manly motherfucker that's been pressing about three hundred. <laughs> What about the they, lesbians? Hey, hey, what if the lesbians create their football league and they wanted to battle against the men? No, they play with the they play with the girls anyway. That's that's a lot of them. I ain't gonna why yeah, they can't play lot, with the trans men. Is, look, why they can't play with the trans the men? League. Trans tr the trans is the one who got the problem. They want to play in both leagues. <laughs> they get their own yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> they pick up they make up their money. <laughs> ah, <I can't. laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is, it's I got the old shit. They wanted both of them. They wanted this one and that one. What the fuck? Right. <laughs> Nigga, get your own shit. Like, <laughs> the lesbian ain't complaining. Hey, look, lesbians ain't complaining. complaining. They, they they're fine playing. playing in they the women's league. In the, in the women's they're league. They're fine playing in the women's league. That's yeah. where they want to be. straight women. That's exactly where they want to be. Oh, and with, with other women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
over in the women's league. They're right. playing with other women. Ah! They good. <laughs> they ain't tripping. Ah! <laughs> don't care. They want to be in that locker room. <laughs> <laughs> but if they go into a lock, they go into a locker room, and it, and it's and it's a girl, and it, it look like a girl, and then they pull their pants down to some swing, and that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> a a big problem. problem. Hold Somebody on. Has- what? Oh, what about the ones that actually get that removed? Mm. You have, you do have, you do have a small percentage that actually. You got well, the entire self. Dave and, Chappelle talked about that. I call, I call that's, why they, that's why they stay. They man pussy. Dave Chappelle <laughs> talked about that. And um, I wanted to find the clip where he exposes the. Um, okay, <coughs> well, this was interesting, right? You talk about his new, the, his new special. Right. So, but check this out. This was oh, interesting. He spoke the real. Check this out. Now they said a lot of stuff about Dave Chappelle on about him and the trans shit, right? But what they didn't speak about was the white girl who performed. She was a trans. Dave put her on. Like Dave had her open up for his show. You know what I mean? And the the LGBT didn't help her out. The LGBT didn't get her on, and they talking shit about Dave right now. They calling Netflix and trying to boycott and trying to pull it down. Oh, and- yeah. Netflix said they ain't Netflix they ain't taking it down. They said Hell no, they, not. They, they Dave better. ain't canceled, bro. No, nah. he ain't getting canceled. Dave spoke truth. That's his last special anyway. So then Dave spoke truth, bro. He said and that's, what, and that's the reason why he said that it's gonna be his last special. He already knew what the backlash was gonna be. He like well, just, they about to come for me, but I'm saying this anyway. You can't do do nothing but respect that man for that. He like I already know what's about to happen. I'm doing it anyway. I'm about to let y'all know. Dave take these chances. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, hey, I'm going to take these chances, but I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you the truth. And that's what he did. He told the truth. It was some transgenders at Netflix. They had a problem with it. Guess where they at right now? They ain't at Netflix. Netflix <laughs> like, nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, fuck you. You know how much money this nigga matters? <laughs> hey, Dave Chappelle kept it real. He, he said, y'all not going to like this. He can't but it's going to happen. And he treaded tread softly. So. He made sure he was very clear that he wasn't disrespecting any trans, wasn't disrespecting yeah, he, he did, any he did, community. He, did he was just stating facts. And oh. he didn't want to, He didn't want nobody coming for his head, blah, 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 blah this, that, and the third. So yeah, I, I, I watched the special. I thought it was... Yeah, I thought I thought it was fucking hilarious. I thought he was he was speaking facts and he was funny as fuck. I loved it. Yeah, he, he, yeah I, I saw a few it. jokes in there. I was he fucking was, crying. He a few jokes in there, but he, you know he, he's like, hey, it's my comedy special, so Nigga. he's gonna tell the truth. But he did throw a few jokes in there to. You know, he said most I, gonna, I, I, said, I was laughing like a motherfucker. I'm he said most ain't gonna. He said most ain't gonna find this one funny. <laughs> most ain't gonna find this special funny. Yeah, <laughs> and it's true. But he he did that at the last special. What he said about, but the whole point was the whole like you know the man pussy. You know what I mean? Was he talked about it? He talked about it on the show. He was like, "No, that's not a real pussy. That's not even an upgrade." <laughs> that, that's what I feel like. That's why I said like, "Ooh, the juggler, nigga. That's the juggler right there. He got their ass in it." Cause that was the one that TKO. That was the one that made them like, "All right, that's it. We're going after him." You know what I mean? <clears throat> was when he talked about the sex change, right? You know what I mean? And that that was really like something that I really laughed at, and I thought it was the best part. I thought it was cool. You know what I mean? Hey, so it, was, just, it was good to me. So I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to pick your brain on I'm this. Shit. Watch it. I'm gonna watch, watch it again. Just to, you know, yeah, I might watch it again up. tonight. I ain't canceling no. I ain't canceling no day. Shit. Well, Why hey, we? hey, 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 y'all Hashtag watch it again. Day. Y'all watch it again, and we'll come team back Chappelle. and, no, and do it. Team Chappelle. Right. We'll come back you know and do that? a special. We'll come back and do a special just on that podcast. So this is what I wanted to kind of expound on, on what he said about the baby. Expand. 
It's bad. Like somebody's old uncle about to about to work on a car. Hey, look, 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 I'll tell you right here. Look, look, this was wrong with you right here. You know, they ain't got the carburetors. <laughs> now, the carburetor then got up in the tube <laughs> and it then messed up the water. You look like your name should be Willie. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about somebody, Uncle. <laughs> nah, that's cutting teeth. Uncle Willie. We're going to call you Uncle Willie. Walt, what we call you? What we call you, Walt? Uncle Willie. What we call you, Walt? Cutting Pete. Oh, busy. This always hit me with the cousin Pete. Cutting Pete. Cutting Pete. That's cutting Pete right there. So here you go. So here you go. Watch this. So I thought you were playing a new track. I'm gonna say that. So this was. What we're, what we're gonna let me see when sticks and stones came out a lot of people in the trans community were furious with me and apparently they dragged me on twitter i don't give a fuck this twitter's not a real place <laughs> Now you see this? You see this? Just look at the comments. All this special has changed my thoughts on Dave Chappelle. Um, the way people are, so it's hard to almost like just talk about this specific one because I know we're going to talk about his comments made about essentially supporting J.K. Rowling, uh, a stance on trans people. Um, but just, just overall, this feels so like we're over this. I, you know, I understand that it was immediate these days. You have some say, oh, we can't joke about anything. You know, people get offended offended but we're talking about the lgbtq plus community um just don't go there <laughs> that's where i'm just, just they've been, don't, we don't don't go there why not right why saying. not why we can't go there Thanks. they can go there but we can't they can call each other bitches and ho they can say whatever they want they, they, they disrespect us too like come on they can say whatever they want, but they can say whatever the fuck they want. Chappelle can't say he can't he can't make jokes. Can't make jokes. <laughs> Don't go there. Put that lady in the bag and send her off to the trash trash people. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very sensitive topic. I find it very offensive overall. So. Of course you do. Okay. And by the way, I noticed people didn't. Girl, know this. Mind you, Angela Yee. You know, you know, Angela Yee, pro fucking LGBT, whatever. You know, what I mean, like. You know, I mean, she's like all about it because she would not speak against it, even if these motherfuckers slapped her in the face. Wrong is wrong, and right is right. Did nobody say shit? Shit, I want them. I want them. I want to know if anybody in this video. I this is a six minute long video. I have not seen this video. I just fucking put it up now. If anybody have seen the chick, the lady that performed open up for Dave Chappelle, bro, <clears throat> right? Transgender, right? She started getting scrutiny from the LGBT. And all this, and nobody helped her out or whatever. And she killed herself off of a plane. I mean, off of a building. Wow. Now people say, now people say, well, was David put no Dave wasn't a part. <clears throat> he had her. He, he look, wow. he said what he said, but he put her on too. Why didn't the LGBT help her out? Why nobody come to her rescue when she was going through this scrutiny? Suicidal thoughts. But anyway, anyway, I <clears throat> Continue. Damn, bro, you just uh, shit out there. I'm just saying, it's it's. I I no, I I didn't even know this. You know what I'm saying? So it was like it's something to me, and it's like wow, that's deep. Like, bro, I'll find a name, and we'll do another special on that. But did sure. nobody did nobody fucking say nothing, man? I don't hear nothing. They doing all the screaming, but did nobody say nothing about that woman killing herself. Transgender woman killing herself. That's crazy. Born male, came up a woman. Dave Chappelle put her on. 
Yeah, he says what he says. I mean, people ain't watching the show. They're only watching what they fucking want to hear. But let's let's see the masses. Let's see the fucking masses get upset. This is why the gas mask tribe is here for you niggas. Because y'all be having some... This is why we think different, we move different, and we only move with communities who think like that. You could be whatever you want. Be. Facts. You could be whatever you want. It has nothing to do with your sexuality. <clears throat> wrong is wrong and right is right. Like, no lie. Flaming Monroe, I fuck with Flaming Monroe. Cool as fuck. I feel like if that motherfucker was here with us and we was in a fucking podcast, he would eat this shit up. He'd be like, y'all motherfuckers is funny. I love this shit. We got to do it again. Like, cool is a motherfucker. And transgender. My godfather. You know what I mean? My godfather full on fucking transgender. Nails, braids, the whole nine. Y'all ever seen that show, P-Valley? No. Nah. All right, if y'all ever see P Valley, it's like a stripper series or something like that. Body. And <laughs> the dude who runs that club look just like my godfather, Gary Hines. Look just like him. And you know who his cousin was? Gregory Hines. Tap dancing. And the motherfucker was gay. It's cool. Whatever. This is why we think different. It's a gas mask truck. I don't know if y'all watched it yet. But Daphne was a trans woman who's a comedian who he befriended and who was supportive of him. And she was shunned from the, com the LGBTQ community because of her support for Dave Chappelle. He actually let her. What? <clears throat> what? This is absurd. Somebody should be saying something about this. Yeah, they should. Save it for what the next time. Why? Why did he say? Why did he fucking make no uprising about this? Cause they choose. They pick and choose. But they shunned her, canceled the baby, and trying to cancel Dave's. What the <clears throat> fuck? You a twisted thinking ass community? Excuse yeah. me. It is. Gas mask tribe is here to filter out that bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> that bullshit. Form on stage. And it's very interesting how he tells the story. But what he was saying is she was shunned and ended up, uh, you know, taking her own life because of being shunned from her own community. Mm -hmm. So it is important for people to be able to have these discussions. See, she should have came over here to the gas mask truck because she wouldn't have never had none of that bullshit. You wouldn't have to worry about the LGBT community, ma. You ain't got to worry about that bullshit. You know what I mean? And people like, like, like my cousin, right? Juan Ye, right? I tell Wanye all the time, bro. Don't sweat no motherfucker. <clears throat> don't begin on no record trying to portray to be something else that you not. Nigga, put your shit there, nigga. If that's what you are, put it there. That's what you believe in, right. put it there. And it should feel so natural to where a motherfucker feel comfortable around you. Straight up. Period. Fuck all the bullshit. Right. Nigga, I you part of us. Fire too. I ain't gonna lie. Huh? Said that song you did with you. I said that was fire too. That shit was fire. I had look, I had niggas listening to it like nigga, that shit is hard. I was like, yeah, would you, you know, the take a verse? You like, they don't even know. They like that shit rock, my nigga. Like, yeah, keep going. Like, for real, bro. <laughs> it's kind of. It was kind of. It kind of. Hey, look, it, it kind of fucks you, you up a little bit. You be like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> Oh, hold up. But you be like, but shit was hard, though. It's hard. <laughs> you came not the nigga. Shit was hard. Though. I, was, I said, bro, don't do no. I was like, don't do no Frank Ocean. Don't be like, you know, Frank Ocean kind of tip around the iceberg a little bit and shit. Look, and yeah, you know, I mean, don't know. Nigga, do you, bro? Females won't have no problem with the verse. I'm going to let you know that. They, they, they didn't like it. Trust me. Trust me. They didn't like it. They'd be cool with it. Like, okay. But I mean, mm. I'm just saying, like, some men that, that won't have no problem with it, with, with it but then you have some men gonna be like, Oh, hell no, just because what was said, whatever. You think I give a fuck about that? Shit? But, look, but, but guess what? Hell no, they're gonna, they gonna, they gonna still buy that, motherfucker, though. <laughs> yeah, they will, but to the <laughs> they be like, God damn it, I don't like what he said, but uh, but to the uh, but to the dudes, who, a motherfucker, though. to he, the he dudes, who. To the dudes who like, oh no, I ain't buying it because of this and da da da. I don't give a fucking rat's ass about that, you shell thinking motherfucker. 
That has nothing to do with the situation. Though, right? I ain't talking about still buy it anyway. I'm just talking about the other ones that that, that yeah, still well, like them. You know they gonna mean? still buy it anyway. They gonna still buy it anyway, bro. That's I'm what I'm saying. You. Like, like that's why I say like the gas mask trap. Like you is they accepted here. Yeah, it ain't none of that bullshit. Like you gotta fucking feel scrutinized because the community that you thought was a part of you or with you is not with you anymore, and they're shunning you. They're saying stuff about you they're knocking you and throwing shit at you and throwing stones and shit right yeah and you take your own life and they ain't gonna fucking they ain't got no receipt for that they ain't got nothing to say for that that's coward shit right there and some more coward shit some more coward shit oh you gonna go at them but you're not gonna come save me that's foul that's foul if anything, you go at the nigga that hired me that put me on, but you don't go at the fact that I'm going through mental illness. Right. Damn. If you don't agree with Dave Chappelle, at least what he's saying, I mean, he's a comedian. And by the way, there's other things on that special you can really be outraged. About. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being honest. I don't think they watched it. There's some other things they can really be outraged. Right. I don't think they watched it either. He's more than a comedian. He's a comedian and he's one of the, the, the biggest he's voices genius, we got out here. He, I mean, if, if, if you don't, don't like, like it, just don't listen. If you don't like it, turn it off. That's like, it. I don't know what we hope to accomplish with any of this. I don't know. Like, what can you do? He's buying his own comedy club. He, that, yeah, <laughs> so you're not going to silence him. <laughs> Netflix is not taking his special down. Netflix, they, the, the last special caused the controversy. Netflix did. Right, right. That's what I was sure saying. Dave is smart enough and quite aware to know that this is going to cause controversy. He, but Dave don't care. Saying, he does they ain't going to cancel me after this one. <laughs> and here's the other thing Dave is not trying to be malicious. Mm -hmm. His intention is to be funny. funny. Yeah, absolutely. And it is funny. It <laughs> is. Okay. All right. Well, that. <laughs> Today there's a story about like you know Dave Chappelle released a uh, a special on Netflix today. Oh, he did today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and there's a joke in there where he says that it was okay what Kevin Spacey did to Anthony Rapp because Anthony Rapp grew up to be gay anyway. And uh, <laughs> he, he went on to say it's actually not okay, but he, he's taking some heat for it. Do you think it's uh, right or wrong or when you say something like that? Do you think it's okay to say? Dave Chappelle is the greatest comedian. Of women are actually equal to men. Then there would be no WNBA, would there? He would just be good enough to play in the NBA with us. Or, here's another idea that would be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. <laughs> After closing out a successful he first did. season, shut the WNBA fuck up. is considering several changes to improve the level of play in the league next year. Among the proposals, extending the playoffs, increasing salaries, bringing back the three-point line, and replacing all these female players with guys. <laughs> <laughs> the WNBA expanded to 10 teams. With three I can't. Players, and Washington they League fucked League. up. But before you get too excited about the new additions to the league, remember, all of the players are still women. <laughs> They stink at basketball. That's the problem. Other than that, it'd be a good, you know, good game, but they're, they're all horrible, so it makes for a, a boring game. Can't hear it. His dick sucked by the king of pop. Yeah, I mean, even like you say, uh, your uh, unwanted, uh, unwanted WNT uh, allegations against Michael Jackson, there had to be kids that were like, well, this is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, this is not some old pre. I'm not this time. So close my eyes to so good, I'm so happy, friends. Leave my heart and burn it. Where 
So that was a uh, they did a dedication to Norm, um, Norm and him. But but pretty much, so the verdict of everything is, people, we like to thank you guys for tuning in, of course. But um, Gas Mask Tribe would like to tell all the people who feel scrutinized for just saying their views, being them, having a fucking uncensored opinion. <laughs> and motherfuckers want to kill you over it. We have a team here that's going to back you up. As long as you ain't out there doing crazy shit, we got you. All right? Don't be doing no crazy shit. Come holler at us first before you do the crazy stuff. All right? Please, you can help protect your image and all of that good stuff. But where you can still have your uncensored opinion. You did? This is the Gas Mask Track Podcast. I mean, y'all want to say anything before we go out? Um, you know, shout outs to Dave Chappelle. You know, you probably never see this, or maybe you will one day. <laughs> Anything y'all want to say before we go? Nah, man. Peace and love to everybody. And what about fear to out the bullshit as far as yeah. sports and keep sports. it real with yourself and, and and keep the boys with the boys and the girls with the girls when it comes to competition because I'm out to fight somebody. Fuck with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. I, I agree. I, <laughs> All right, I'll come over and help y'all fight. Shit. <laughs> All right. All right, bro. Thank y'all for tuning hey, in. Look, I really appreciate sure it. Y'all, uh. Look, y'all follow Head Knockers, man. Go to the go to Instagram, Head Knockers Music, and then Facebook, Head, Head Knockers Music Group. Go follow. All day. Y'all better. Y'all better. Peace. Yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Gas Mask Tribe Podcast, where we felt out that bullshit. 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 <laughs> <laughs>